Beep, beep. So many habits are imposed on us daily, from social media feeds that will definitely make us successful, productive, wealthy. But why does no one ever really often talk about happiness? Oh, probably just the only meaning of our life. Having money does not always mean permanence in one's life. Happiness, like the habit of getting up at 5 in the morning or reading books, will definitely not turn our life into a fairy tale. Happiness is a complex skill that needs to be developed. Every person definitely what is truly worth learning. And some certain habits can influence this. Happiness is built from small things. A person is mistaken if they believe that material goods are capable of giving him pleasure and taste. To life, even after acquiring a new gadget, after receiving, no matter how large the amount, a person will still want more. We all live in pursuit of happiness, undoubtedly believing that this, the race will help us. But this route has no end, certainly for what we are after. We are running still at the start. Material goods can indeed serve happiness and it's to complement but not to create it in any way. For happiness truly comes from within. Remember yourself a few years ago. Surely you are now recalling that period as the best one in your life. How it was calmer and better a few months ago. A few years ago but now everything is just really bad. But that's not the case. You were not better in the past and you are not worse in the present. A person simply loves to suffer and it is very hard for them to escape from this trap that he doesn't even notice. Damn, it was so much calmer and simpler being younger, huh? That you hated school, you were bullied and now you live your independent and best life. We prefer not to notice, indeed. We need to learn to indeed feel life for we exist only. Now the present day is your life right now. The past is gone, the future is still unknown and the present, the only thing we just have and if a person learns to notice this, they will understand. What is happiness? But first, we need to tune our body just a bit more. If the engine is absolutely broken, the car won't go. We will start the basics with a whole set of habits which we will call his mental hygiene. First and foremost, a consistent sleep schedule. Melatonin is the sleep hormone produced differently in everyone but its highest production occurs until 1 a.m. Accordingly, the best scenario is, if you will, go to bed at the same time before midnight and get up. Always the same at a set 8 a.m. or even earlier, receiving the necessary eight hours of sleep. It varies, but stability will provide its own fruits and the body will work like clockwork. Because if you wake up in the morning and really feel like crap, it is not normal. And if there is a desire to improve sleep, so the link in the description will lead to my free course on improving sleep. In that place, you will even find my meditation a practice I engage in regularly to find peace and clarity. Next, pay special attention to nutrition. Consume enough squirrel, exclude processed food with refined and prefer carbohydrates and choose plant-based products. Origin. Sodas, fast food, snacks, sweets should be at a maximum, a rarity and a luxury. And if it occurs in reality, regularly throughout the week, then remember the proverb, you are what you eat. And if you eat crap, you are indeed crap as well as your overall condition and hormonal background. Include several fruits like in your daily diet and vegetables. It's not that difficult and doesn't take long. Preparation, but instead it is easier for most to do 90% of their to be in a state of a vegetable and becoming someone else's responsibility. Diet? It's a good metaphor, isn't it? Third, sports? It should be the most important element of your day. The body indeed needs progress. Hormones need a shake-up. Therefore, each day should include something, activity, even in the form of a walk or light exercise. Ideally, you should start each of your mornings with a warm-up, walked at least 10,000 steps a day, the more the better, better, and included several workouts at the gym. Per week, it will be better if they are powerful. Personally, I start every morning with stretching and push-ups, and I go to the gym three times a week, and every day, I am walking 10,000 steps. At least I try... And it is not important whether you will be working out in the gym or not. No one is stopping you scaring the children in the playground. And do a couple of sets of pull-ups or spend a bit training, exercising at home, listening to something interesting. Podcast. If you have a sedentary life and you do not change it, you change. Then signs of depression after a few years of inactivity. A lifestyle is undeniably guaranteed to you and it will be solely yours. The problem and the result of hundreds of excuses Fourth, learn and do it at a steady and measured pace, consistently and set aside a book to read for a month, thought, read it in the evenings, listen to podcasts on some topic, an interesting topic, and in general, enlighten yourself. Consider yourself a book, and will you find it interesting to read it if it ends after three pages? The more beneficial things you consume, the more 
the more new and interesting things you bring into your life, the more your inner world and indeed the wider your outer world certainly becomes. Notice things you have never seen before. And to look at everything from a different angle allows for all. Life indeed becomes more pleasant and fulfilling. Read interesting books and watch interesting videos. Learn new professions and expertise. And if you still don't know what you absolutely love, then you should. To actively engage in one's career guidance, it's easy to do free access is available to everyone. Test from Skillbox, the largest educational platform. The test you can complete in three hours will show you your characteristics and will offer a selection of professions in various fields from IT to cinema and design. And practical tasks will help to understand what you like, whether you like it. The test takes more than 15 parameters to you and your profile is formed. You will understand what you want to do. And at the end of the course, you will be told how to work with doubts and beliefs that hinder taking the first step and starting to act. And to everyone who completes it to the end, a 60% discount on training in the chosen profession. Don't miss the opportunity. The link is definitely in the description or simply by the QR code right on the screen. We have finished with the basics. Now let's move on to something new. Five, take more photos and shoot and capture more. It may seem strange to some people. Take photos, film for stories, record everything. And I also used to find this strange and absurd. A line exists when a person is in key situation. An event in life all the time sits on the phone and films everything. Not enjoying the moment, but it's another matter when this becomes a truly special addition to your memories. It's a pity that few people see this boundary. There is no need to be on your phone during memorable moments. But try to capture them. Photograph the unremarkable. Moments, shoot video, place the camera next to yourself and write down the moments happening now may seem ordinary, but in a few years will definitely become touching and atmospheric. And take more pictures. Take selfies or capture yourself in any state, crying even, laughing, absurd and funny and hilarious. When I was reviewing my gallery from previous years, I realized with a deep sense of horror that in my phone, in my... There is no me at all in the gallery, as if these memories have seemingly passed, but I stood only to the side, just as if I was not in them at all. I was shy filming myself, it's not fear of camera, or something else, perhaps indeed I just thought that it would actually be considered strange. It's definitely one thing to film someone, but to turn on the selfie camera? Oh no, they'll definitely look at me sideways. But what strangeness is being referred to when we all will die, and moments pass by from stress and difficulties? Part of the memories has completely faded, and in the gallery behind. A year with just a couple of photos, what life is this? You are not only extending the duration of your memories, and valuable moments, keeping them with you for many years, but also fight against fear and camera shyness and start love yourself more by noticing and observing your changes. Six, develop the habit or rather the skill of indeed saying no. This doesn't mean that you will respond to all requests to say no and live locked away from friends, but most people are so afraid of hurting another person by devaluing them. Their desires and feelings, even the most brazen, they fear to say no to a request. I admit it was just as difficult for me Decided based on the same principle, if you are afraid, do it. If in the moment I feel that I really don't want to to fulfill this request and to spend my time, I interrupt. I release all my tensions and say no. It's not as difficult as it seems. 7. Regular travel, at least just to other places. Areas of their city, to events and establishments that you haven't been to before or to neighboring cities and countries. If it weren't for my love of constant movement, if I would not have started to visit my little places. Income in adolescence, my horizons would have remained at the level of foolish maximalist child who is afraid go out out of my comfort zone, who I was a few years ago. Back, uh, of course, for many, this may seem overwhelming task, but when your expenses are equal to your income, sometimes even more, and you are constantly buying yourself all sorts of unnecessary crap. Trinkets lie idle and only are reminders about your lack of financial literacy, then travel a bit more. A really problematic thing indeed, even by bus, even with a small salary, it is possible to travel regularly and not deny yourself anything. The main thing is to be able to do this, to use money. For this, I remind you once again, without a doubt, school course on financial literacy, where you will learn to manage your money, you will be trained, investments, and finally start to feel freer, to feel having emerged from debts and self-reproaches and a 10% discount with the promo code START will help you information, will stay with you for a lifetime, feedback from participants. This is proven, you can find them in the description to get acquainted and join my students and get to know them better. Eight, completely eliminate negativity and discussions. Someone in a negative light or so, make it a habit to fully control your flow and focus. Thoughts and all the negative thoughts that judge you or others to cut off from oneself. Under no circumstances should you compare yourself to others and devalue yourself, your life and your achievements. Notice your strengths and develop them. 
And similarly, do not discuss anyone in a negative light. Gossip may be useful at times, but when it turns into... The only topic for conversation and thoughts is... Lamentable. One can't help ask people who are discussing media personalities, who sleeps with whom and conflicts with whom, how he hates that blogger, how that person is just so lucky. And everything was given on a silver platter. Do they have a personal life? And any other meaningful and significant aspects in life besides hatred to another, how we relate to others is indeed certainly a mirror of our life. And hatred is a very energy consuming emotion that you create not worse than another, discussing another's life but causing harm only to oneself? Better to think of it once more when the thought comes. Damn, that guy has achieved more than I have, or damn, how ugly Masha looks today. Think about why, are you spending your energy on this? I have other strengths and I live completely and fully, otherwise I have different goals and dreams while Masha, she may like today's image, let her be happy, with their choice, positive reinforcement thinking bring over time and for this to work automatically you just need to start cutting out the negative and noticing more of the positive. Do not discuss, do not insult, do not conflict at all times. Do not engage in conflicts in online comments. Do not respond to provocations and insults. Stay calm. Your energy for yourself and your life. 9. Spend a little bit less time on social media and the internet. And on the phone, at least for a few hours a day on weekends or only a few days in the month, for example during vacations, do a digital detox. Most of you feel constantly tired and sluggish. Not because they are busy with a huge number of tasks, but because that you are spending all your energy on negativity, which consuming all sorts of crap from the screen, Phone, um, sitting on TikTok, you lose focus every 15 seconds and you receive different emotions, training your brain to do so. That life is indeed very dynamic and fast, but in reality, it slow and calm. But because we ultimately destroy our focus, we end up going back in scrolling the feed. The phone is not made for you to be constantly in it. Sat. Tim Cook said, I look at my phone more often than I look into their eyes, I do something else. So, an interesting interview. Many consider him indeed a dealer of our addiction, necessarily. Look, it's interesting. It is in English, you can see it in Yandex Browser Translation Neural Networks, listen. Very convenient. Set limits on apps on your phone or perhaps even it's better to keep yourself busy with something. When with friends, agree to put away your phone and always keep it screened down. Turn on silent and do not disturb on your phone. Turn off unnecessary notifications or turn them off completely. Everything except notifications, my dear mom. You should not get distracted by your phone every five minutes. This is not a healthy thing, no matter how anyone tries to justify it. And 10. Keep journals. If you still find it difficult to analyze and understand your feelings, start writing them down. Create some electronic notes or physical ones. Notebooks for various notes and reminders. In one note, thoughts write. Track your emotions. In another, keep a gratitude journal. I recommend doing it. Write it down daily. Your achievements for the day and completed tasks even, the most insignificant indeed. This will help learn to put pressure on yourself. Toxic parent to oneself who scolds for a four in the diary instead of a five. Also keep a gratitude journal. Write down what is wonderful each and every day. What happened day? You went for a walk with a friend. You ran into an old acquaintance by chance or maybe there was a beautiful sunset outside. Write this down and be grateful. Day for this, immersing oneself in one's feelings. Along with this, keep a regular diary. Write down your thoughts. Thoughts, my personal reflections and reflections regarding certain situations. What happened? No one prevents you from combining it to bring it all together. And also structuring it into one cohesive text. And coolest thing, it's a wish diary, although it's better to call it. This is a list. Open your notes on your phone now and create a list of 10 or more things you want to do, such as buy ice cream, ride the carousel, meet and have fun. Sunset, go to Paris, yes, anything, just anything. Desires. And turn this into an important to-do list that you must follow. To perform, these can be minor tasks like buying a candy. And can also be emotional acquaintance with someone traveling. What one needs to prepare oneself morally. Prepare. But this list, you must absolutely complete it for any reason. Thanks to all, you will bring new things into your life. The colors will become very rich, diverse, and most importantly, indeed, interesting. For life is not given to us for mere existence, simply it is given to live. As you have noticed, habits are divided into several blocks. First we deal with the body, then we work. About thinking, if you have everything wrong with your hormones and health, you don't keep an eye on him, move on to the second one. The stage will be more difficult if it is even possible. That is why it is important to start gradually. Most people do not take care of themselves at all. Do not feel this life at all, they simply just exist. For the sake of death, but if we cultivate the skill of being happy within ourselves, if we definitely harness our body, our life will become something 
big and these 10 habits will help you subscribe to the channel link to my school is in the description and subscribe to telegram and instagram there is more there interesting and uh, 